can't ask for a better view than that. All right, guys, this looks like a pretty picturesque morning. It's been a while. Let's see what we can do out here. I'm seeing a little bit of life out here, guys. Nothing crazy yet, but I saw uh, some Spanish mackerels. I think we're gonna start with flounder today, honestly, because uh, everyone's right now is going out there getting bait. And maybe I could beat the rush by sticking with the jigs is what I'm thinking. Today is gonna be a parking lot, so there's not gonna be much talking. This is probably, maybe I'll get one more day of ocean flounder jigging in. I'm not stressing it. If it sucks, we'll go try to get some Spanish mackerel, which are occasionally popping up. Uh, but yeah, let's get started here. I'm just gonna jig on some notoriously productive reef structure, one ounce jigs. And we definitely got a crowd, so already. Little dink, get the hell out of here. I don't know what this is. This doesn't feel like a flounder, but it does feel pretty nice. It is a flounder, kind of hooked him under the chin there. Sorry, buddy, definitely not my intention. Sixteen and a half. Cool of five to ten tarpon over here. Yo. Oh my God. <laughs> that was epic. This never works out, casting at these uh, moving tarpon like this. This is a one ounce Mackinac shad. I'm just staying away from all the mullet guys. So if I can get a spot or two that hasn't been absolutely pounded and I can catch two keepers, that'll be great. I should have honestly fished for a Spanish mackerel and there are tarpon around this morning. Definitely see the, the tarpon roll through this reef and yeah, really unprepared for it all. A better one finally one flounder this one will keep actually this is insanity trying to find fish out here if it clears 18 i'm gonna be thrilled um, I can tell you right now, but at least this one's got a little bit of meat. Yeah, this one's at 18. All right, he's eating barely an 18. Uh, at least we're getting a couple. Another flounder here. I think it could be a black sea bass though. Wow. That's uh, kind of unusual. I don't catch keeper black sea bass too often uh, up inshore. Um, let me see what we got here. It's supposed to be 13 to keep. I mean, kind of small and very little meat, but this is one thing that's telling me. If there's a keeper black sea bass on here who is the most aggressive fellow on these reefs, that means this is not necessarily pillaged to the point of, yeah, maybe just like just over 13, so. That's a uh, more a good sign of you know bottom that's not obliterated. Bummer. Bummer. What's this, you say? Gosh. 
man it's been a long time since we tried to catch and cook one it's uh it's the biggest i've caught in a long time but not today it's definitely the popular spots where all those boats are but man i gotta be able to find one nugget of fish here somewhere fishing the micro stuff man might be the only strategy let the big boats do the big stuff let me do whatever i can get on you know this one that's so small i really mix, i already missed the mark that's how small it is oh yeah we found a hole it's the last hole That's a good one. These are the better ones, man. I can't believe I have to grind for that. Look at his nice white tail too. And maybe it's gonna be, a, it's it's insane the, 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 the how aggressive you can get these fish to go. They literally pop bottom and he was there. This is the hardest I ever had to work for a flat fish. Really? Man, they're not on much necessarily. I mean, that was very little bottom there. But that's going to be a good one again. There was almost no bottom there. That's wild. I saw a little couple scratches on the bottom. I was heading up to the school of Spanish. Another flatty. Got another one about 18. Oh my gosh. Oh, the giant Spanish man. Whoo! Man, these hooks. Man, I'm sucking at the Spanish mackerel right now, man. Those were giants over there. Anyway, let me just uh let's get back to it, man. Small victories, but I'm failing at another one. It's a 17 and a half. All right, I'm gonna make a little change here. So, so I have a lot of good bites on this crocodile, man. Like really good bites, but I think the, I'm not sure if the hook gauge is too big on it. Like that's a VMC, it's not a chine hook and these fish aren't small. So I'm like kind of not sure. But anyway, let's see what else we got in here. Don peanut, small pogies or peanut bunker. Maybe just a smaller crocodile might go well. I'll try this one. This one's just a little bit smaller. Probably weighs three quarters of an ounce, maybe a half ounce. Can't believe I lost two big ones like that. There was, those were both four pound plus fish. I was trolling. Just got a Spanish mackerel. Not as big as what was um I caught on those casting spoons early. I mean, had attacked my lure on those casting spoons. So, all right, today I made a bad call. I should have Spanish mackerel, king mackerel fish. Both of those guys were around today. We landed one Spanish trolling. So a school tarpon. Uh, you know, when it comes to, I knew today would be a busy day. So I was like, I put this sort of fishing like out of my brain. And then it's like, man, you could have still pulled it off because they're kind of just cruising outskirts and stuff like that. It's funny how that goes. See if we pick up anything on the way home. It is a absolutely amazing day on the water. So you cannot knock on that part. Biggest flounder today probably ran 19 and a half. So 18s and 17s. So but I'm a little more um, inclined to grind. If those were, you know, three to five pound fish, you know, 21 to 25 inches, I'd be doing it a little bit more. Let me get out of here. I'd like to thank today's video sponsor, uh, Waterland Co. If you like, uh, good pair of polarized lenses they go a long way out here on the water 
uh, for a comfortable experience looking at uh, fish and really reducing glare, etc. Let me beach my kayak now and uh, we'll catch up soon. Check the video description, links, everything we used. Definitely not the ocean day I wanted, you know, I thought it was gonna do a little bit better. So at least we got a flat surf and an absolutely beautiful day though. So I can't complain about that. If I was a little more nervous about this, I'd unpack a lot more, but nice and flat. Nice and deep though. That is a nice little feature lately. Okay. Hard to mess that up though, I'm not gonna lie. Catch up with you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.